Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are back again after the last episode where we went with the artifacts and just created some absolute chaos. It was insane. I think this time I want to try and play one of the hard difficulties and see how we go. And we'll play as one of the modded characters as well. So let's let's take a look. This is the normal hardest difficulty. Uh, difficulty scaling and less HP regen. We've also got Inferno, Typhoon... Calypso, uh, Tempest, and Armageddon. So we have got a good few here. I don't know if these are in order, but this one, we've got the same thing as Monsoon. We've also got plus endless, enemy stats constantly increasing, extra projectile speed, combat director resourceful, starting difficulty is increased, enemy's ability is improved, enemy's AI refined plus evolving, and enemy cap plus 50%. Here we've got this plus um, a higher monster spawn limit and even more difficulty scaling. Here we've got um, even more difficulty scaling as well as enemy movement speed and enemy crit chance. Here we've got um, even more difficulty scaling, enemy cooldown reduction, extra movement speed, extra attack speed, crit chance, and they start with shattering justice, which I don't know what that does. And then we've got Armageddon which is just insane. Uh, we get extra movement speed. We also get an era, um, a radi a radiant pearl. Um, really crazy scaling. Uh, enemy movement speed, crit chance, attack speed. They get armor. They start with a bunch of different um, starting items. Okay, there's, there's some wacky stuff going on there. I think for this one, we're just going to go with Typhoon. Harder difficulty scaling and monster spawn limit. But we're also going to mix in some artifacts to make it a little easier on ourselves. So let's just have a little look, see what we can go with. Um, let's see which ones we can do that could be fun. Um, da -da. Give team bits. No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to find ones that are beneficial to us, but aren't going to just make the game easy. Um, collected items increase difficulty. I think that's no, thank you. Double player count scaling, no. Dead player respawn after the boss is defeated. That doesn't help us too much. Um, add a cleansing pool, scrapper, and void chest to um, the space bazaar. Interesting. The void thing is definitely interesting. Um, that's good. We'll go with that in case that ever comes to fruition. Charge the teleporter upon killing the boss. That sounds good too. We'll do that. Um, blue portal every stage. Enemies drop bombs. Choose your items. Can only spawn as elite. Spawn with a random equipment that changes each time to activate. Friendly fire. Glass. Um, players always spawn as a random survivor. The effects turn them out of a permanent. Phantom King of Nothing. Oh, we don't want to do that. 3D printers and scrappers no longer spawn. Teleporter covers the whole map. Bosses invade. Primarily teleporter. Monster skin. No, thank you. Monsters drop items on death, but chests no longer spawn. I do like that one. That one can be kind of interesting. Um, fatal damage is doubled. Okay, so I I'm going to go for, um, for that one as well. Because it can be a little risky, but I do enjoy it. Because uh, it means you don't have to go hunting for chests. And then we can play as some new characters here. So we do have a few that we can play as. Um, we've got a few that are also locked right here. Um, but we do have a few new ones here. So we have the Miner. Gain adrenaline when receiving gold. Increase attack speed, movement speed, and health regen. Uh, wildly swing at nearby enemies for extra damage. Drill charge, back blast, and to the stars. We've also got the Executioner here. Um, killing enemy inflicts with um, inflicts with fear reduces all cooldowns. Fire your pistol. Um, boost forward and fear nearby enemies. Launch into the air and slam down. Ooh, that sounds good. And then we've also got Chef here who looks amazing. Uh, throw a cleaver towards enemies. Leave a trail of oil. Prepare for a big meal. Boost the next ability cast. And then he's just got what he's got. Let's go with Chef. Chef seems like a lot of fun. Right, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really hard, but I'm in it to win it. We've also got quite a, quite a large many of um, our Lunar Coins here. Look at him go. So, what's our movement speed ability? Okay, that's our movement speed ability. Good, good, good. We don't need money for anything particularly. 
Um, although I will say we can buy one of these bad boys, which is pretty useful. I like his attack, his main attack. <laughs> and then this. Oh, okay, okay. So the enhancing the ability, it can it enhances each thing in a unique way. I thought it would just increase the damage it deals, but it seems to yeah do a unique enhancement for each ability maybe. So like this time we'll go and do second fire. I'm not sure if that did anything really. Uh, here's our first item. For 14 seconds hitting enemy caused them to drop gold. Unfortunately not that useful for us on this mode, but we'll try it out regardless. And then we also get move slightly faster, slowing effects impact you less. Decent. I've got another active here. Cleanse all negative effects. That's probably more useful for us, to be honest. So far, quite a lot of item drops. Quite a lot of item drops. We should probably move away from here and go have a look at something else. But yeah, I like this character already. And then we can do this. I don't know how useful the actual sludge itself is for hurting enemies. It might be pretty good. I love that. That's so cool. You have to keep an eye on enemies that we kill, though, to make sure we're not missing out on dropped goods. It does seem that this uh, axe throws a decent distance as well. It just throws until it hits something and then bounces back. Like, let's, let's test that. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. It does have a limit. That knockback's really good. And then we can sludge him up a little bit, which I think is just a slowing effect, to be honest. It's not crazy powerful, but... It's useful. The damage so far. Let's get down from there, fella. I do want to try what this does. Um, yeah, I'm not really noticing any difference in the ability there. It seems to just affect my main throw. I also need to be using that way more often. It's available more often than I'm than I'm using it by like, quite a bit. I love the fact that there's the little microwave-style ding. <laughs> And not too many items here. I really like that for speeding around. Where's our actual teleporter here, do you reckon? Nice. Ah, oh, there it is. I see it. So we don't want to hang around on the stage too long, because remember, our difficulty scaling is wild. Stone Titan. We'll get underneath him like that. Oh shit! We can light the oil on fire! I did not know that. Okay, that changes a lot. I'm kind of relying on my drone here to keep me going. Got a pretty decent spot right here. Okay, that, this changes a lot. So I can do that and then go boom and lights the whole thing on fire. And that doesn't deal damage to me, no. Okay, that is very good. I like that a lot. Get down from there, sir. Right, let's try and actually beat this guy now. Uh, let's go down here, do this. And then mount two. Oh my god, dude. Stop with the fucking laser, please. Okay. We need to kind of get out of here again. We've almost got the boss, though. There you go. We got him. We got our item. Which is the kernel. We'll do our synergize thing. We don't have anything that synergizes the ship thus far. And I think we'll just bounce. Okay, not too many items on this first floor, unfortunately. That's going to be a problem. Well, so far, enjoying this character. Pretty cool. Whee! The fact that we can use that fire, uh, that oil, sorry, to like light a fire under uh, our enemies' asses, can be pretty good. The thing is, as well, about this, uh, this setup, you kind of got to realize that... Um, the 
more we play, the more items we'll end up getting later on. Because, um, we'll get that fire stacks fast. The more uh, items we'll get more later on, because there's going to be more uh, enemies, of course. Drop many mines on use. Yeah, let's do that, because we need some damage output. Not super good, but it's decent enough. Yeah, we want to be killing as many things as we possibly can, obviously. What are you doing, sir? Just keep throwing, throwing, throwing. Yeah, even the small enemies, we want to be killing them all, because they all have a chance to drop an item. No, not much point in ignoring things. I need more healing drones, is what I need. I <laughs> love the way this guy looks. He's so goofy. Apparently this is a character from Risk of Rain 1 that never got added to uh, Risk of Rain 2. It's a bit of a shame, because he seems pretty cool. Obviously, I don't know how well his abilities have translated via the mod versus how they were in Risk of Rain 1. Still. I'd like to get at least two items from this stage before I decide to move on. We do have another healing drone here. That's something I will definitely take on. Not sure how to best use that ability, I'll be honest. You know, to power up our other abilities. Let's do that. And then... Oh. Light them all up. That seems so powerful, to be honest. Hey, we finally got an item here. Uh, low health enemies receive damage over time. That's good. Gonna help finish things off that we don't quite get to finish off ourselves. There you go, taking damage over time there. That's pretty good, actually. Stack a few of those up. I can imagine that being very deadly. I'm sure to plant a bunch of mines here and keep them going. I don't know how long the mines last, I'll be honest, but I'm hoping they last a good bit of time. We can just stack them up. I can hear enemies spawning, but I don't see them. Here's a few. Gotcha. The only thing is about leaving enemies to die over time with that item is that they could die quite far away from us and then, um, of course, that could lead to us missing out on items that are potentially available. Again, uh, we haven't got many items here, but I think we just go. Beetle Queen. You are getting destroyed, my good sir. You are also getting healed a little bit, so let's uh, let's stop that, shall we? The fire just stacks up to 22 there, throw it away. Right, there's the boss dead. Hey, we got another yellow item. Okay, some beetle guards for our very own here. I doubt we have anything that synergizes yet, but we'll try it. Oh my god. Come on. I was hoping for like one more item this stage, but it's not looking likely. Let's just get gone, shall we? We just gotta move on. We're gonna get harder enemies, but we've got so few items, it's actually unbelievable. So few items. Away we go. I like the way he just shoots the oil straight out of his ass at lightning speed. That guy dropped a Luna coin. I actually don't care. We've got about 2 billion Luna coins for some reason. I'm guessing that's just left over from that other modifier we had on. Now here's a problem where enemies could drop uh, stuff into the abyss here. That's 300 that costs. I guess we could try and sit around that. We do have our teleporter just over here. I don't know, is it is it maybe worth beelining the teleporter? I really don't know. Where else is it, actually? Okay, I see, I see. Right, again, let's um, put a bunch of mines down for later on. Did, did a bunch of those just explode straight away? That's not very, very nice. What the hell is the deal with that? I do wish this character had a bit more mobility. His movement skills are pretty limited right now. It 
seems that taking the items drop on enemy kill thing didn't really work out for us all that well. Oh shit. This enemy can be a nightmare. Stay close to him so he can't fire at us. That's pretty good. Pretty good going. We have a few of these electric boys up here. There's all sorts of shit going on over here. What the hell is this? Where is it taking me? What the hell? Is this a... I don't think I've ever been up here. What the hell's up here? I didn't know you could go up here. When was this a thing? Is that items up here? What the hell's this? Some sort of little garden? What on earth? I've literally never been this way before. What the hell's this little dude? Gib ukulele to pink guy. It just says fuck you, man. Excuse me. I don't have a ukulele to give him. What is this? This has confused me deeply. I'm way out on a limb here, but I'm just venturing out and seeing what I can find. So it seems that this is over here. <laughs> That's good, because we have a lot of blue orbs to spend, but I'm not really sure how I get back. I'll be honest. I wish I had a ukulele for that guy. Interested to see. I've got to remember that now, if I'm ever on the stage. Take a little look on the hills. See if we can get up here again. And give that guy a ukulele he deserves. Guess just land on this crystal thing here and hope for the best. The thing is, killing these big enemies doesn't really benefit us all that much. We got a 3D printer there, but again, that doesn't really do anything for us. Can I, like, link it up? I can. Nice. Yeah. Some healing off of that. Holy shit. Drones, I need you to heal me, like, right now. Oh my god, there's just so much going on right now. Get me the hell out of here. Dude, I'm dead. Okay. Well, that artifact that gives me the item drops was just a mistake. Um, well, I unlocked a character somehow that I clearly shouldn't have there. We unlocked the Gunslinger, um, which... Isn't... Okay, Bantan it, Gunslinger. Okay. Gunslinger gets stronger when near hostiles. Gunslinger fires... Vendet Vendetta. Um, Gunslinger charges a powerful curse. Gunslinger dashes a short distance. Gunslinger fires a burst of Wraith rounds. Number of rounds increase the attack speed, pierce enemies. Okay, we'll do that. But also, let's go to our artifacts and turn that one off. Because that was not good. <laughs> That was not okay, but let's let's jump in as this guy and see how things go. Whereas a new character here. Ooh, we've got a uh, try the mountain straight away here, which I'll 100% take. Interested with this guy. So we got normal shots. We've got mouse two, which is a charge shot that gives him a status effect. We've got our dash here where we can stop to five. And then we've got that, which didn't do too much. I like this guy. He seems cool.
Give massive armor by focusing your item build. Corrupts all chest plates. I don't really know what that means, but... Okay. Let's try and go and open that big chest. Honestly, having so many dashes here seems amazing. That can move around pretty quick. Hey, that's actually really good. Oh, I see, I see. If I had, like, multiple rounds that time. Then active here. How do I store up the rounds, though? Nice. Get an active there. That's really good. Really good. We got healing this time. I see a, a little terminal over there that I want to go and pay attention to. I hear you over there, clicking and clacking. Grab that real quick. And then we got... Roller Coins is actually pretty good early on. Get some gold on taking damage. Right. Back this way we go. It's so weird when you spam your dodge. It looks so wrong. Oh shit, okay. That attack is crazy good. I underrated that to start with. Got another thing over here. Didn't mean to do that, whoopsie. That. Boom. Holy shit, that guy went down so fast. We got whatever this is. Some sort of healing item. Regenerate slightly faster. Okay, that's very good for me. Damn, okay, this is going well. That crit there was lovely. What do you think you're going, Jimmy? I just like characters where you have to be accurate. They're like my jam. They are like my jam. Right. There's got to be a few more chests about here. We haven't even seen where the teleporter is yet. I think it's just over here. There's another chest. And we get ourselves... An invisible at low health. I really don't like it, but... I'll take it. Slightly decreased secondary uh, skill cooldown grants healing upon use. Pretty decent, especially if you stack that. I can imagine that being really good. I don't know if I can load more shots into that ability. Right. I do see another terminal shop over there. Can I fly with this? I can. Nice. I definitely need more base damage. That would be something that would make this character a lot better. Um, let's go with damage versus boss. Right. Let's do the boss. Not a great one, to be honest. Not a great one. Luckily, I can prevent fall damage here. This is going to be a tricky one. I don't know what the debuff does. The fact that all of these count as the boss is slightly annoying. But luckily we have a lot of regen, so... We also do have a, a guillotine too, which means it's going to die a little bit faster than it would otherwise. Hey, Getting set on fire gives you a fuckload of money, so that's kind of good actually. I'm trying to take out the basic ones first. Right. 
Right, get back a little bit. Yeah, basic one taken out. Have... This one's regenerating HP, so... I deal more damage when I'm near enemies as well, don't I? So, yeah, yeah. I can see that now. I've got to keep up the damage with this guy, otherwise he's going to heal up. Keep an eye on my HP. If it gets too low, I'm going to have to get back into cover. Get back into somewhere that there isn't as many enemies. Almost got him. And he is dead. Oh, a little bit tricky, but we got there. And then for our pleasure, we get critical strikes, mark enemies, marked enemies share damage. That's pretty good. Do the synergize thing, but it doesn't have anything for us. Okay. A lot of enemies here. Sadly can't take the money to the next stage, so that would be very good if we could. I think I want to be very close to enemies to be honest, to deal a lot more damage that way. Up to 75 by the looks of it, at least at this level. Well that's very nice to see straight off the bat. Increased damage dealt by 15% when there are no enemies in 18 meters of you. Okay, that kind of offsets at least a little bit um, our the gimmick of this character. We don't have to worry about it as much. Excuse me. Was, I thought he threw me in the pit then. See a chest down there. Hey, that's so nice. Bit of movement speed, lovely. At least it marks as well where our radius is here. I think I want to be marking them with that before I use the R ability, to be honest. I think it does more damage that way. And that's kind of how the character's meant to be played. Right. That's another chest there, lovely. Forgetting to mark them first. Bustling fungus. Good if we get the corrupted version. Oh, what the hell did I do then? Oh god. Um, glitched out that for some reason. Okay, it seems to just be standing right here. Glitches that out. Right, and away we go. <laughs> the way this guy moves makes me laugh. We know where the teleporter is now. Good, good. Stays on our map now. On our hood, should I say. There's another chest right here. <gasps> Legendary item. Prevents debuffs uh, instead of getting... Ooh, that's, that's pretty decent. I don't know how good it is, but it sounds good off the bat. More movement speed. Yes. Making getting around better is just always good, but also it's just nice for a uh, thingy as well. You know what? Hit me. Fire a missile and taking heavy damage. Come on. Oh, wait. We prevent debuffs. We can't get set on fire. Doesn't matter. I was trying to get that guy to set, on set me on fire so I could get some more money from uh, our roll of pennies, but it doesn't actually matter. Take that. Right, looks like we're not seeing too many more chests about, unfortunately. Let's open this Lunapod, see what we get here. Increase critical damage by half critical strike chance. There's no point in grabbing that, I don't think. Right, I think we're about good to go here. Quickly check over this side real quick. Hey, just in case. The bigger the flight, the higher your damage. I'm guessing higher in the air we go, the more damage we get, which is pretty decent. Especially as this character where we can just go up.
kind of an interesting tactic there. A lot of enemies around us, but I'm just going to ignore most of them. Oh, there was a chest over here. God damn it. Excuse me? Holy shit! I knew that he could heal from that, but fuck me, he just healed to full. It's bullshit. I didn't realise he could just heal to full from it. I got like halfway dead. He just said no. If he does that again, it's going to be very problematic for us. Which he can very much do again, so... Watch your balls at me, that's fine. There we go, we got him. Detonate on jump. Oh, that's pretty cool. Still no synergies. Get the heck out of here. Should have got that chest really fast, but oh well. We're out of here. We're doing pretty well. Damage could still do to be quite a lot higher, I will say. Um, we don't have an equipment. Oh, no, we do have an equipment. Uh, I don't think this, this equipment is one that we really need to be giving away, though. Got a chest right here. I don't like this orb sometimes viewable. Like that. Looks weird. Two chests here. I like the detonate on jump thing. I can imagine that being really crazy if you have enough of them stacked. Get over here, you. Who do I hear his feet stomping? them. A hard, and uh, they harden in response to physical trauma. I'm guessing that means I take reduced damage after taking damage. Good. Linking enemies via crits is kind of nice as well here. Bad boy open. There's one more chest up here. Drops a poison mine when taking heavy damage. We have a good few uh, effects of on taking heavy damage do this. Oh, he's, he's up here now. Hello. He made his way over. Hatch a strange creature where who drops buffs per periodically. Okay. Decent. What the hell are you doing there? Just chilling on the floor. You can slice and dice me all you want, but I just get money for it, so I'm kind of okay with it. What would be really good as well as this character is fire rate. We don't have an awful lot of fire rate right now. Right, let's get out of here now we've got a bunch of money. Got a chest over there, I see. That it is, that it is. Sticky bombs, pretty good. Right, more chests down here. Fairly easy escape from everyone as well. Attack speed, that's what I was asking for. Hell yes. As many chests as I can. ATG missile. Okay, we're getting some good stuff now. We are building a potentially good run. Let's take whatever liquid this is. Increase health regen. Okay, more health regen is always good. Try tips pretty good for us here. Some damage over time. 
Okay, on the hunt for more chests and wherever our boss resides. I think at this point we're kind of good to leave when we want to. There it is, she's down there. Do you see a try shop over there? We'll go and suss that out. Honestly, even more health regen, please. We have such crazy, like, health regen now that I just want to keep stacking it. An Ash Storm is approaching. Okay. Go with one of those. Don't know what an Ash Storm consists of, but I'm guessing it's more of one particular type of enemy, maybe. It also, visually looks a bit different, too. I'm seeing that. Reduce damage the first time you were hit. Okay, nice. Just a quick cursory glance around the edge here. Make sure there isn't anything else. There's one of these. Might as well play this out. Okay, the short um, attack and movement speed after activating interactable. Pretty good. Not bad at all, actually. I think a few healing boys here. I want them gone before we fight our boss. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. The amount of health that I just lost there. I gained a lot of money. I'll say that. I did lose quite a lot of health. For about... Nice. Okay. Overloading in. Can be a bit devastating. Get rid of the healing boys if we can. Honestly, fire rate's going wild right now. I think activating my interactable actually counts. Even though it doesn't activate me, it doesn't do anything. Normally, it activated to put it on a teammate to, to heal them, but we don't need to do that. Hey. Nice, nice. Ooh, shit. We just got a good aim. Also, we got two synergies here. Uh, I don't know what either of them do, but we got two synergies. But yeah, we just got Shatter Blood, which is very good. Crits can explode enemies in bleeding. That could be really cool. We just need a way to deal more crits now. Up. Up we go. God damn, this visual thing is very annoying. Kill all of these. Take some damage as well to go with it. Don't take that much damage. That's a bit too much damage. Holy shit. Holy shit, it's a bit too much damage. Fuck me. No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm so close to death here. So close to death. Let's get the hell out of here. Fuck me. Oh, dude, how'd you hit me there? God damn it. More gold, more damage. Seems good. I see this over here. Can't afford this. 500 foot. Oh god, that bleeding thing was crazy then. Holy shit. I need to be able to get more crits here. This is very imperative to my survival, I think. Hello, are you? Could you get the fuck off me, please? I don't even know what I bought there. Drones are equipped with explosive weaponry. Could be good if I had a few drones. Also, I see you up there, Mushroom Boy. I don't think I didn't catch that. It's attaching quite a lot of their uh, thingies, actually. Um, mines. I wouldn't think it would have been that many, but... Is 
We've entered the phase of this character becoming quite powerful now. Storm's approaching lovely. Don't we all love a storm? Right, let's go up here, see what we can find. If anything. Chest, huzzah. That's good. I see another chest all the way up there. See if we can get to that. Let's just keep moving. Oh my god. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Hey, that's good. See another big chest here. Beautiful. Berserkers, pauldron, noise. We've got a shrine of the mountain down here. We've got a golden chest down here as well. How much are you charging? Four thousand. We can easily get that. Let's let's do it. Just spread as much chaos as we can here. Just really try and take some damage from enemies that don't explode to uh, get some more money. We need someone that's going to do light damage quickly. And we get a lot of money. 2,700. It was like 4,500, wasn't it? That was a good amount of money there. I expect that shrine in the mountain, which could be a little scary. There's a guppin over there, whatever you call them. Don't get all hidey on me now. You can hide away. Where's this big boy gone? I think he's above us, that's why. What oh, bloody hell. He's like pain in the ass. There he is. Right. There you go. He fucking just jumped down the fucking second I... Oh my god, you dick. He's gone all the way down. Bloody hell. He did take 11k damage falling off there, though, which was pretty awesome for us. Goddamn slime rancher enemy. Having trouble with him. I'm gonna be an elite, though. He's a bit easier to kill. I have enough for the, the crate now. Holy shit. Now, I've got to figure out how to get back up quickly as well. It's over here, right? Oh, void chest, void. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gain regen per missing health while in danger. Ooh, that's really, really good. More regen. We've been looking for more regen. We don't need it, but I'm certainly happy to have it. Right, let's go back over towards... Our thingy here. Don't want another active. My active right now is very good. Where the hell, where the hell was it? Also, there's a chest here. Nice. Reduce fall damage. That's lovely. Here. There we go. We found it. We found it. And here we get chance on kill to summon a ghost. Okay, that can be pretty good. It's not a, an amazing item, but it can be pretty good. Hey, we get that again. Okay, I think we just want to tap our boss now. Although, before we do, grab that real quick. More dice. Go tap our boss. Kind of scared for what it could be. Overloading, wandering, vagrant. Lovely. I have to ignore the overwhelming amount of other enemies near us and just focus on you. I'm hoping we get some, some happy friends here with us. Oh my god, they're overloading. Oh, there's two of them. What the hell? Where the hell did you come from? Holy shit, I almost died. 
I should be far enough away for this to not hurt. Yeah, I was good. Okay. Hard one is dead. I'm still very low on HP, though. I do have a few buddies in the mix. Okay, good. Both bosses are dead. Move faster at low HP. Got both of those. Into the portal we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the stress is, is, is quite large right now. Um, what the hell is this thing? I'm honestly just going to go for a ton of these. More HP regen. <laughs> Don't know what the staff does. Let's give it a go. Triggers all on hit effects every 10 seconds. It's pretty decent. I think we're good to go. No synergies. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I just, I just want the staff regen as much as I can. All on hit effects every 10 seconds seems decent. I don't know how many on-hit effects I actually have right now. Uh, I have on-taking heavy damage, but I don't know if they count. I don't know if that's the same thing. Okay, there's some shenanigans going on over there. Let's go make our way over that way. Oh, God. Okay, one of you's almost, already almost dead. You are dead. You're good. Which one of you avoid creatures? You're a void creature. Oh my god. And there's a void reaver in here as well. Let's get out of the uh, the death zone while we still can. I don't even know what I'd fought there. Incinerated rune, sounds good. Careful that Void Reaper when he dies. That whole black hole attack can really fork you up. Oh, hello, Salamander boy. You need to die very swiftly. Got four monsters left. Yeah, don't, don't hit me. Oh my god, look at my regen. Like, actually look at my health regen right now. Hey, we cleared them all out. Lovely. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Heal while sprinting. Yes, please. I see you all. Very hard to hit, but I see you all. Don't jump into that big boy. There's one more of them somewhere. I let him escape. There he is. Oh wait, he's our he's our friend. We've got a, we've got one of these little pests as our mate. I didn't know that could happen. And to fire a mortar. Another storm is approaching. Oh, I see that there's a another one of these things up here. Look, there's a few of them, in fact. Take that. We don't have one yet. Why not? Right. Let's make our way away from here. More dice. More of whatever that was. Where the F's the boss at? This character's so much fun. Where the F's the boss at? Quite pricey, but we've got the money. Uh, but but uh, that's probably pretty good. Right, just look over the edge and see if we can see the um, see the sparklies. I've got a lot of these spawned. Holy shit! 
I do not see the sparklies anywhere. Oh, yes I do, I do, I do. It's a little bit far away. But we can make it. I think we've got enough items to go for this as well. Chicken. Chance to burn on hit, why not? Oh shit, you're avoiding me. Get back here, you. Ah! God, I got frozen. Shit. That was close. I kind of got frozen into that attack there. Right, boss time. Let's do one. How to can play a good timing. Ooh, I've never really fought this guy before. I don't really know what his attacks are. Oh god. Okay. That's what his attacks are. Wow. <laughs> oh wait, I got killed by one of the mushrooms. God damn it. That was a lot of fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.